This GCSE question had a lot of students squealing. This was sent to me on the Lungang Reddit page. If you guys want to join the community and submit your own questions, link is in the description. So what have we got? I've obviously cropped out a lot of yap in this question. They've said there's two overlapping circles with a common region R. Uh, they have told us that the radius of the big circle is five, the radius of the small circle is four. We've got this angle of 50 degrees. Uh, and then it says, find the area of R correct to three significant figures. Okay, now this region R, we're going to have to split it up. And we're going to have to consider the relationship of R with respect to each circle. Okay, so just to look at the perspective of the larger circle, I'll draw another picture. So here's my big circle. Now R is within that circle this kind of arc bit here, all right? And we've got, uh, we have got the center O, and we have got this, all right? Now, when you look at that, you need to be wondering, what does that give you vibes of? To me, it's giving me vibes of areas of segments. Now, what are areas of segments? Well, a segment is formed when you draw a chord, a chord is where you join two parts of the circumference with a straight line. Remember, a diameter is a special type of chord. Well, the segment area would be this. All right? Which means that this part of it, it doesn't really represent anything with respect to the large circle. However, it will do when it comes to this circle here. All right? So let me get rid of this. All we need to do is work out the area of that segment relative to both of these circles, and then we're done, okay? Right, how do we do that? To do a segment area, all you're gonna do is we're gonna do the sector minus triangle, all right? So we're gonna do the sector minus triangle. Now what is the area of a sector? It's what fraction is this angle relative to 360? So 50 degrees out of 360 multiplied by pi times the radius squared. Now the radius here is five. So five squared minus the triangle. Now triangle, half AB sine C. Half AB sine C. Now your A and B is the same. Five times five, five squared, okay? Half. A, B, sine, C. And then we just type all of that in, okay? So that is that portion of R. Now we've got to focus on the other one. Okay, so if I draw that out, and then we'll end up adding them together. All right, so we've got P, we've got uh, this part, remember? So that's R, that is shared on both of them. Okay, so we have that. Now, we're going to form that chord again. And remember, this part, this part here, was this part. Yeah, remember we split that. The right side is to do with this circle, the left side is to do with this circle, okay? Left, right. I'm not interested in the right part. We have just calculated that. That is above, okay? We're trying to work out this. Four, four. Now, what's missing that we had before? It's the angle, all right? I need to know what this angle is. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna call it feta cheese. Feta. How are we gonna find it? Well, let's look back at our original diagram. We have a quadrilateral. Uh, that's tricky actually, because we have this quadrilateral, but do we have these two angles? We don't, do we? What do you think, in the comment section, I, de I definitely know, because I've marked these papers so much, what do you think students assumed these two angles were? Let me know. But what you guys might be thinking, it is not that. The clue is this. <laughs> so. We need another strategy, which is why 
this is a tough question. Well, to do this, I'm thinking again that this is a triangle. The question is, how do I find that angle? Obviously, I've, I've said that a few times. If I knew this length, I could use the triangle to work out theta. Now this chord is the exact same chord from over here, which came from over here. So if I can work out this chord from this, then I can copy and paste over here, and then I can work out theta. So let's go back to this. How are we gonna work out the length of that chord? It's gonna be the cosine rule, right? So if I call that x, yeah, what's the co cosine rule saying? a squared is b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now your capital A and lowercase a are the opposites. b and c makes no difference, okay? So we have x squared is b squared, so 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 2, 5, 5 cos of 50. And then we're going to root all of that. All right. Now, I'll type that in in a second. So that's the same value of x. So now, I can use that to work out theta. And the version of the cosine rule I'm going to use is the rearranged version to work out cos a. Okay. Now, how do you work that out? You switch these two around, so 2bc cos a would be here. It's very easy to rearrange. So when we rearrange for stuff, guys, we don't like negative, right? So that becomes positive over here. Then we're going to subtract a squared on the other side. So b squared plus c squared minus a squared. Then this 2bc, we divide. All right? So now we can make our substitutions. So it's cos of theta. Your b and c are your 4s now. So it'll be 4 squared and 4 squared. And then a is like your x. So 4 squared, 4 squared minus x squared. We'll use that answer in a second. Divided by 4 times 4. Yeah, that's your b and c. Okay. Then you're going to inverse cos all of that. Okay. So I always come packed. Yeah, I'm going to quickly type all of this in. So root of 25 plus 25 minus 2 lots of 25 cos of 50 gives me 4.2261. Yeah, 25 plus 25 minus 2 lots of 25 cos 50. Make sure you're in degrees mode. Now, I'm going to use the answer button here in my calculator. So I'm doing fraction 16 plus 16 minus answer squared all over 2 lots of 16. Gives me 0 0.44. Now remember, to rearrange for theta, we're going to do inverse cos of both sides. Okay, so I'm going to do inverse cos of my answer, which gives me 63.777 dot dot dot. Okay, nice. Now this value, guys, I'm going to store it, yeah? I will probably have a video here of me quickly doing this store. I just press STOA, okay? So I've stored that value as A. Now I'm going to work out this area doing the exact same thing I did here, all right? So in this case, it's going to be theta over 360, yeah, this 63. So theta over 360 times pi times the radius squared. Then I'm going to subtract the triangle, half A B sine of C. And then remember, I stored all of these as A. And now, literally, you're going to add these together. All right. So let's do that. So I'm going to do, you could use the answer button here as well if you guys didn't store. But we have A over 360 times pi times 4 squared minus a half of 4 times 4 sine of A. So this bit here is like 1.728, etc. So I'm going to add 50 over 360 times pi times 5 squared minus a half of 5 times 5 sine 50. 
we get about 3.06. So to 3SF, we get about 3.06. And that'll be centimeters skirt. And there we go, guys. What are your thoughts? Like this video if you learned something today. These uh, seem to be getting more and more common uh, with examiners, these whole overlapping circles. Um, and yeah, like the video if you did learn something. Subscribe for more mass content so we can increase the reach to other GCSE students. Um, and if you want to submit your own questions, the Lung Gang Reddit page is linked below. And if you're interested in my GCSE courses, details are also in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Noise.